Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're solving the problem in Illustrator of blurs having a square edge. So I have a circle here that I have just applied a blur filter to. If you have a look in the appearance panel here, this is the Gaussian blur that I've applied to this particular object. And the problem with it is that it's got these square edges around it. The solution to this is to go to the effect menu and go to document raster effect settings. This is the problem here. We're only adding a notional 36 pixels around this image for the blur to move into, but my blur is too big for that. So it's butting up against the edges of this sort of box that it's in, which is the original size box plus an extra 36 pixels. Now we can add some more pixels in here. We can add up to 720. Just be aware that if you do, your machine is likely to slow down quite a bit. I think probably 250 is going to be sufficient for my particular project. Now I've noticed that Illustrator doesn't respond to that change immediately. So let's reselect our shape. Let's go to the appearance panel, which I appear to have lost. We'll turn off the Gaussian blur and we're going to re-enable it. And this is what we expect to see, this really fuzzy sort of blur around the shape with none of those hard edges. Now that's important when you're using blurs. It's also important when you're doing things such as applying effects beyond that blur, using the blur as part of the effect. So for example, something I often use is the color half tone. So let me just size this down to about eight and apply this color half tone and you'll see that this has got really nice soft edges to it. With those square edges, it wouldn't look anything like this. So anytime that you need to solve a blur issue in Illustrator, you're just going to the effect menu and resetting your document raster effect setting. That's going to affect everything in this document. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.